also important from China is our competency. We found that it's difficult to distinguish Chinese manufacturers and the trading companies, even for most foreign buyers who often purchased from China. Not mention to those novices that never sourced from China. China suppliers hide behind the internet, and buyers see what they want the buyers to see. Foreign buyers cannot see the true face of Chinese suppliers. Time differences, language differences, and cultural differences are all factors that prevent foreign buyers to getting know of Chinese suppliers. Uh, on top of that, Chinese suppliers are getting better at factory age. Um, even foreign buyers come to China to inspect the factory. These trading companies are not worried about it at all because they have reached a cooperative relationship with factories. Few clients can spot these tricks. Basically, every Chinese suppliers claims to be a manufacturer because they know if they told the customers they are a trading company, they are more likely to lose the order. Uh, well, teaming up with a trading company is not without benefits, but the cheapest option is cooperating with a manufacturer. Foreign buyers come to China to buy to save money, so of course, they are more willing to cooperate with the China manufacturer. Um, but I'm sorry to tell you, according to our research and investigation, most suppliers on BPB platform, uh, such as Alibaba, Made in China, Global Sources, are uh, trading companies, and only 20% of these suppliers are real factories. We obtained the first 50 pages of product information under each product category on Alibaba and then analyze these suppliers. In the end, only 10 to 20% of these suppliers are genetic manufacturers. And when we look at the Alibaba top ranking suppliers, most of them are indeed trading companies. This means that it's not easy to find a product manufacturer on Alibaba. Alibaba doesn't tell you who is manufacturing and who is trading company, so you can only judge by yourself. So today's content is to help you find the real manufacturers among the thousands of suppliers on Alibaba. Buyers must master some skills, otherwise they are easily failed by Chinese trading companies. Welcome to Sourcing from China Guide Video Serials. I'm Chloe, one of the founder of Sourcing Arts, the leading sourcing company that combines practical sourcing experience and the data analysis technology. I will share you with the most practical tips to import quality goods from China. Make sure you go subscribed. The actual factory is usually in the suburbs, uh, and the address is usually an industry park. So, if the address of a factory is a room community, a uh, building is maybe a trading company. How a factory in a certain room of a building, and in addition, being able to under the suburb and urban areas of each city. Can allows you make more accurate judgments. Uh, for example, uh, Shenzhen's factories are usually in the suburbs, uh, for such as uh, Bao'an District, Nonghua District, Pingshan District, Nonggang District, and Guangming District, etc. And the trading companies' addresses are usually in the urban areas, such as Futian District, uh, Nonghu District, and Nanshan District. You can even use Google Maps to value the real environment around the supplier, whether it's a city or a suburb, at a nonce. You only need to enter the Chinese address into the search box and then navigation it to its location.
check if the client's address is in the industrial cluster of the product. Each product has a corresponding industrial cluster in China, and the industrial cluster brings all the advantages of producing this product, such as abundant raw materials, uh, experienced workers, cheap parts, etc. Uh, for example, the industrial cluster of face mask is located in Xiantao city of Hubei province and the industrial cluster of WIG is uh, located in the Xuchang city of Henan province and uh, the toys industrial cluster is located in the Shanghai city of Guangdong province. If you found a smile selling electronic products on Alibaba and the, the smile's address is in Shanghai, it's almost certain that it's a trading company because the industrial cluster of electronic products is in Shenzhen and almost 99% of electronics manufacturers are based in Shenzhen. Less than 1% of electronic manufacturers are in other areas. Um, but even though Shanghai electronics manufacturers is a not good choice because the cost of producing electronics in Shanghai is definitely higher than Shenzhen. So there is no price advantages of, pur of purchased electronic products from Shanghai. Most of professional buyers we contacted have one thing in common, that is they have a good understanding of China's industrial cluster of each product. Cooperating with suppliers in the industrial cluster can avoid some middlemen. Moreover, uh, even traders, the traders located in the industrial clusters, both the price and delivery will have a good competitive advantage than the traders in other areas. So if you want to know more about the industrial clusters in China, please visit our website sourcingarts.com. Check the product categories of the supplier. If the category spans a large niche, uh, such as a supplier sells both phone cases and beauty knives, the supplier is likely to be um, a training company or a middleman. Factories usually focus on one type of product and the product category is also single. Uh, for example, uh, watch straps factories only produce the straps of different types, different colors, different designs, and different uh, models, no other products. You can find the business scope of supplier on the business license or Chinese business information websites, such as chichacha.com, tianyancha.com, and qixian.com, etc. You can find the detailed business information of all Chinese companies on these websites. The business scope of a rare factory should include the words manufacturer, manufacturer, manufacturing, produce, production. All you need to do is use a tool to check if one of the five words are included in the supplier's business scope, otherwise it must be a trading company. Um, of course, a company can produce only if its business scope includes production, otherwise it will be published by the government. The above described methods for verifying supplier types are very simple and practical. Through these three points, you can identify most of trading companies on Alibaba. In addition, there are some special circumstances that are not easy for buyers to judge. For example, there is a supplier um, with a very complex product category, but its business scope is includes production, then whether it's a trading company or a manufacturer. In fact, it's a factory that only produces one type of product and 
Its other product categories are also produced from other factories. For this color of supplier, you can buy their advanced products and uh, don't buy the products that they produced from other factories. If you encounter a supplier you can identify, you can contact us for help. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you got a lot of valuable information about how to found the Jalik manufacturers on Alibaba. And if you have any questions about today's topic, please leave it in the comments. And if you like this video, please give thumbs up and get subscribed. I will see you in the next video.